Welcome back viewers for another episode of Aliens vs Redders. We're here today in Mexico for a moderate abduction on a large police station. This is a pretty interesting map and I'm quite happy of all large urban structures we got. Uh, this is the one we actually got because we've got a lot of really low ranking troops on this mission. So this is probably one of the more rookie friendly maps I guess you could say. Even though we don't actually have rookies but they may as well be rookies considering this is June. But anyway let's get down there. Roger, Big Sky. Reading you 5x5. Five five. Strike 1 has the green light for deployment. Okay, so we've landed, and this is the large police station. Uh, it's a quite nice map, if I may say so myself. It's basically, it's a very simple map as well. you got one, a huge building over here, uh, divided into two parts, a small room over here, and a huge meeting hall room over here over the upstairs section. It's actually kind of neat to find it. Um, over here, in the back, you got a car park. In the left, you got a back alley. In the right, you got a back alley. And here it's got open street. You do not want to find the open street and though you do not want to approach the building from this side because this area here is so open, you have very low cover and they have all the cover. You don't want to fight against into the building uh, from the outside. It's just silly. That's just pretty um yeah, you just, you just don't want to do it. Instead, this is a door over here, which takes you into a small room over here, which is much nicer. There's absolutely no windows along here, as opposed to here, which is the entire front is surrounded by windows. Uh, so you you basically move up to it safely without triggering anything, unless you get really unlucky and get one of those weird side activations, or maybe there's a pod in the back alley. Unlikely, but it could happen. But anyway, that's the plan. Breach this room, go from there. There's no point talking about it much further because you know, as it goes, no plan survives for us to the enemy. So I think. The only plan I can really talk about is what I'm going to do first, and the rest is improvisation, really. Anyway, let's introduce a squad we can get started. Um, we have Acronymous, a feature of Reefer's Auto Laser. Congratulations, um, you're the gunner. We have Achu, the scout. Uh, Spirit Plumber, the medic. Hamliona, the engineer. Uh, Kataru, the medic. So it's kind of like Spirit Plumber here is a rookie medic, uh, and or the Prince's medic, and Kataru here is actually training him up. Uh, we have Inter's Arbiter, the baby, the rookie uh, rocketeer, and Changing Runner, the veteran rocketeer. I mean, he's a rocket, he's a corporal, which makes him much far, uh, far more reliable than, than Inter's Arbiter. That said, Inter's Arbiter has a scope, uh, so hopefully that can make up to the fact that she doesn't have fire in the hole yet. I like you, uh, the assault, and I, that's it. Okay, cool. And Heavenly Owner, of course, was the rookie engineer. Um, okay, so let's, like you said, let's approach this door. Who are we gonna move first? Okay, um, Achu, let's move you up here. Aye, aye, Commander. Cool. Let's see who we can. Okay, uh, Kataru, move over here. Okay. Okay, seems to be safe, so I think what's gonna happen is everyone else should be able to stash up. Heading to that location. Where's the rocket here? There's Arbiter, I can't quite. Okay, maybe if I move him, Leona here. Okay, there's Arbiter, can you make it now? Nope. Damn it, Arbiter, you're so slow. Actually, no, you can just make it. Okay, that's good. It's coming to the desk tile. On the move. I'll be on the rocket here, Changeling. You have no problem. Arbiter, why can't you be a Changeling runner here? Yes, sí, he knows how to run. Okay, I'm being a little bit unfair. Um, Arbiter has... Arbiter has uh, a rifle, whereas Changeling has an SMG. That said, Changeling also has um, an extra rocket. Okay, let's keep you nice up and close. Close and personal. Mount this way as well. I mean, I initially I only saw this mount. You can see, and all the way back here, we're not getting that mount. It's too far away. This mount we can probably grab. This mount this way as well. Somewhere maybe. Somewhere. 
over the rainbow. Mild will fly. I don't know. If it's an all the way at the back, we're not getting that either. Just a bit of a shame. Anyway, let's open this door. Okay. Oh, Save so far. I think we could go check it out. Okay, we can probably put a rocket here, there. Um, everyone else, let's move in. Let's move, move over here. I should be able to stash up to here. He said, what about activating the car park? Let's not, let's dash back here instead. Changeling. We can put up to over here. Everyone else can just move up. Okay, let's stay the two rocketeers. Mutants. Straight to my left. Lemon. Somewhere on the map. Cool. Okay, I have valve scanner, so what I'm thinking is I could potentially move up somewhere and chuck a scanner out. Um, let's say you get out of the way, Mr. Spur Plumber. Much appreciated. Um, let's say you get out of the way too, Economist. Out uh, to here. That's affirmative. Visual on the goods. Yep, I know, I know. Okay, I can move you to here. Now. And let's chuck the scanner into this room. See if we can just find those mutants. Be quite handy. Hmm, it's kind of being blocked off by that pillar. That's kind of annoying. Well, this scan might actually reveal more. Except I don't, I don't need to make sure it doesn't get blocked by this pillar. Wow, that's annoying. Look, I'm gonna get blocked by a pillar no matter what I do here. Still, let's ch chuck a scanner here. Or oh, we can chuck it upstairs, even. Yeah, we can chuck it upstairs instead. Might actually reveal us more because the pillars are blocking a lot right now. Okay. Scanning. Show me what's upstairs. Nothing. We could potentially take position upstairs, but I'd much rather use the high camera position down here rather than try to use upstairs. Upstairs you have a height bonus, but at the same time, uh, it's all low cover. And it's also easily flankable if you're not careful. Okay, uh, let's start putting rocketeers in position, so... That was an accident. Whoops. I'm on the move. Okay, aren't you? Why don't you see if I grab them out next turn? Well, we can do it this turn. I mean, we can really see into a car park, because so unlikely there's anything there. Um, but, no point. I already have Kitaru, who's already moved, so let's just be safe. Okay. Procedo. On overwatch. I feel, Commander. Rocket. Got my eye. Guardia. Okay, that's you. Moving. Got the goods. Ooh. Let's see if we can get a scanner into the room itself now. Heading there now. This should be a much better scanning position. We know upstairs is clear. But let's check out downstairs, shall we? Big brother is online. Okay, we have a pile of muton and is that three floaters. Yep, three floaters. Where can I put my rocketeers? Hmm. Wow, okay, so it looks like this position is flanked, this position is flanked. I might be able to get away with putting my rocketeer here, barely. They are that close, are they? Much closer than I anticipated, that's for sure. Um. Let's count some tiles, because it's fun. How far away are they? Um, let's see. 
One, two, three, four, five. Wait, let's do it this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Somewhere. I think this person here should be safe. Let's see if we can put a rocket here there. And we can put a rocket here at the back here. Uh, that's just really pushing it, isn't it? Let's try it anyway. Shh. Good, no activation. I should be able to fire a rocket at them next turn to activate them. Uh, Hamleona, let's move you up. I can put Arbiter over here. Um. And Ashu can move back in. That's affirmative. And Acronymous can always move up here next turn to suppress as needed. Which is good. So in fact, let's move you up one more tile. Moving to position. I get a choice of iron positions, which is good as well. Um, okay, so steady. Steady. And guitar has smoke grenade, so if I'm forced to, I can always fire. Well, I can always fire a rocket and just smoke this area up. Okay, stay where you are. Moving to my right, gotta be careful. Oh boy, activation. Hello, Mr. Muton. Very good hit. Damn, you're only a spec too. Spirit. Okay, so you got one good spec and one not as good spec. Oh well. Where are you going? Oh come on, Economus. It's not good enough. Not good enough. Uh huh. Okay, we know one of them flew into heaven, but the other ones we can possibly fire rockets at. Let's see. Wow, these two are literally sat there. That's really odd. That said, I can't really do much about them. I can, however, get a flank on that muton and possibly take a few shots. Um, that's not really good promising rockets, so I might not actually take it. Now, how can I flank this muton? Guitaro, maybe? On my way. Ooh, but Guitaro has smoke grenades. Position confirmed. Um, they're not exact. Yeah, Taro has smoke grenades. That's unfortunate. I kind of wish I gave the scout right now a laser rifle. Okay, Changeling, you're not gonna fire a rocket. The assault can potentially run again to this position here and take a shotgun shot. I can even run again all the way up, but I'm a little worried because I heard movement to my right here. Bet that door's open. Oh, no, the door's open because of the floater. Hmm. I, I can't really. Can I, okay, can I, what can I suppress from here? I can suppress you, I can even just shoot you. Changeling can also shoot you too. You can see the muton. Um, Spirit Plumber. You can't do anything. I, I mean, as much as I want to capture that muton, I think they're bigger problems. This is only a first contact, and I can't really move in on them at all. I mean, that said, you can see these high cover walls here means it's actually blocking a lot of line of sight. So any contact to my right here because of these walls, I, as long as I'm careful about who I have outside, I should not actually trigger. And anyone to the front here, I won't trigger. And anyone behind here, I won't trigger. Anyone in the back alley here, I shouldn't trigger as well. So it's actually quite a nice contained fight. Okay, Kataru, you can probably dash over here. And Leona, you can probably dash over here. And Anaku, you can possibly run and gun to here. Ideally, I want you to be the one to kill the Muton. So 65% is not terrible. Take it. That's a miss. Hmm. Well, that limits my options, doesn't it? Quite severely, too. Okay, Achu. Let's move you here, okay. and I say you can move up to here out. and steady. It's not the world's perfect rocket because you'll be blocked by that wall, but I have to do. Okay, Economist. 
Okay. I kind of want to smoke everyone over here up, but well, everyone's in high, uh, high cover. It should be fine. So you know what? Worst case, I'll, he'll have to be suppressed. But I really want to be able to take the shot because if this kills, it's quite likely to kill, isn't it? Let's take the shot. I mean, let's suppress him. He's really the biggest problem right now. Take a shot, Kataru. That's what I thought. Stand fast. Yeah, you think we care about your intimidate? You're wrong. You are wrong. Uh oh. Looks who he who's here to join the fight? Okay, I don't think they activated though. This You're suppressing me. Taking a shot. That's a very interesting move, I have to say. I'm thanking you and you suppress me. Another shot. Watch out. Good. That's a... I don't know. What's that Miron thinking? That is the oddest move I've ever seen in a while. Well, I need a Miron corpse, so I don't really want to just... Hey, you know what I'm thinking? I can totally just mind fray you and laugh in your face. You're, uh, you're a le you must be a leader. You actually got some will. But then, nah, I actually got bigger problems. I think I got much bigger problems than you. So, instead, it's. Kill you, Manaku. That, again, that's just such a weird move. Okay, what can I do about you guys? Mind frame, 66. Not perfect. I can take a shot at you. One, two. One of the floaters is... I can't see him. I think he's upstairs or something. Do I have a bow scan I can use? Nope, I'm all bow scanners. I said let's take a shot of Chronomus. Good hit. I can... Just kill you with Gitaru. Or not. I want... I want to keep a rocket steadied. But keep my rocket steady means I can't shoot with you. No, you know what? Let's just, let's just shoot. Finish him off. Angeling. Good. And I can move up here. I know where the thin men are. Or I can try to go upstairs. I can go upstairs and make sure they don't try to use upstairs against me. Which he could. He could. So. So should move here. Okay. Hmm, can't quite make it. Fortunate. Keep sitting you. Emily only can stay here. When when needed, he can always pop out and throw a grenade. I feel, Commander. Spirit, got nothing to do. Hey, we have two floaters and a part of them over here. They're starting to lose ground. Uh hi. Can I see you? Okay. One and two. Odd. Odd. Okay, so we pop them in upstairs. Um, in that case, it's not go upstairs quite yet. In fact, because they're upstairs, I can actually take advantage, can't I? One floor is here. One floor went outside, which means I can go outside, have a look, look for them. Or I can do a city rocket. City rocket, blow up those thin Or I can try to spend this turn just prepare. Okay, um. Hmm. It's interesting. Okay, Kitaro, I think I want you. Okay, Anaku, you're not doing anything useful there. Let's actually move you over here. you here. Why there? Because you're slightly closer to reaction. You can get easier flanks that way. Same with you. That's affirmative. Let's move you up to here. I'll hunker you. Even dash you up to here, it will be safe-ish. Except if the floor dashes towards me, that'd be kind of problematic. Um, I'd like Changeling to move up to here where Kitaru is. So Kitaru, move over. Changeling, move over. 
Okay. Smart for you. I don't know where your friend is, but it's at least incap uh, incapacitate you for a little while. Um, okay, thank you for control. Um, steady. Problemus can move over here and reload. Have really owner, reload. And I can dash this arbiter over here. It's probably got nothing to do. I should move him up because he's got flashbang. I can hunker him. So, hunker. Hunker. Two floaters. Hello. How you doing? Look sharp, enemies rolling up. Okay, we have two missing floaters still. That's really annoying. Lost some meld, that's fine. We couldn't have got them out anyway. I can blow up these two Thimmons cover. Promise that Thimmon, I'll flank him. Still, the style of these two Thimmons cover. That's a pretty accurate rocket. A battle like this, infantry would be really, really handy. Okay, good. Yeah, Archie can't actually get a flank off. Neither can you, but you can get a pretty close range shot off. Taro can see those. That's Seekers? Oh no. I think I might have just triggered them. Oh well. Oh well. Um, let's use Acronymous here. Kill one of them. Okay, Seekers actually didn't trigger, that's good. Okay, into the Arbiter. Oh, come on, you're here for training. You have a scope. Okay, Gitaru. Now here's the question is, do I still want to um, approach you? Because if I approach you, I'm pretty much guaranteed to actually those Seekers. How far away are the Seekers? He's like over here, so one. Um, two, like, okay, one, two, so one, two, three, one, two, three, one, sorry, this is really weird, it's just the diagonal is really, really odd to work with, okay, it's one, two, like that, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, yeah, I'm pretty much guaranteed to trigger the Seekers, so unless I can get a second rocket in position, with my other rocket here. I have one more rocket here, don't I? Oh, that's right, he's over here. Okay, I say let's not try to piss off those Seekers quite yet. Question is, where are those floaters? Are two... I'm just worried they'll just come out of nowhere and flank me. Let's move Archu back here. I say let's move Anaku back. And this way I can flashbang you. Over here, and I'll worry about you later, because those floaters are kind of annoying. I don't know where they are. Okay, have the owner. Let's move on over here. Okay, you're retreating. Interesting move. Can I throw a rocket at them? Yes, I can. It's a pretty wild rocket. Let's do it. I still got more rockets where that came from. Oh, wow. Good damage. And still, where are those Seekers? Uh, let's go check out the back door. I'm pretty sure, okay, that's what, Apollo 4, Apollo 3. We could be potentially facing two more, uh, two more pods. But I need to know if those Seekers are right outside. So let's get, just have a look. Okay. They're not Seekers, floaters. Okay, they're not. Come back in. Akitaru. 
Reload. Okay. Good to go. Emily on there. Uh, let's actually not use you. You're too fragile. Arbiter. Hey, 83 percent. Come on. Good. I'm about to start keeping score. Roger. I've got my eyes on. on Artemis, stay there. I like who. Move here. And spur from you can just hunt them. Okay, there's them in that group too. Interesting. Floaters, where are they? Where are they? Not telling me. Damn it. That's quite frustrating. Where are those floaters? Have a look again. Ooh, we, found, we saw we see something. Uh, hi floater. Where's your friend? You're not the only floater here. Wait, can't you flank me, Candy? Oh wait, there's huge holes in the wall over here. You can't pretend you just fly into a building. It doesn't have to use the entrance like us plebeians with without wings or jetpacks in this case uh, have to. That could be pretty annoying. But to actually flank me, he has to get in and he has to go all the way down to here. That's I can I can just keep checking on him. I might just be fine. Um. So you know what? This is a way for him to come back. After reload, steady. You still got a shredder. Oh wow! The destruction that happens around here. Hi. Okay, he's indoors. Wait, wait, wait. Where did you come from? Where did you come from? What? Where did, uh, seriously, where did you come from? I am confused. You just appear out of nowhere. Okay, there's one upstairs too, I saw it. Let's have, okay, let's move it. I'll take up to here. What? Okay, that must, that must have been the one who was upstairs. Where's the other one? Okay, I can try getting capture tip on you. All I have to do is know your health. Um, this is unlikely to kill. It's, I can't crit. So let's take a shot. Perfect. Let's try capturing you. <gasps> no. Okay. Kataru Kita has smoke grenades. Um, Kataru has smoke grenades. That's the only uh, upside of this. Yes, we are flow captive. Finally, took us a few tries. Um, I'm just gonna throw a shredder at you guys because I don't like you. You're interrupting my business. And uh, don't take that lightly. Good shot. Okay, who do I have left? You can take one shot. Promise. Okay, Kataro's gonna have to throw a smoke grenade here. Those hard copters will have to do. So, um, you stay where you are. Achu can move up to here. Moving to position. 72, 60. Nice. Okay, good hit. And Leona is gonna have to move up. So I'm pretty sure you can't see from here. Oh, you might be able to. You might just be able to. Let's try it. Headed there now. Yep, it's, and it's full covers. So it makes me feel slightly better. Good. I'm about to start keeping Let's score. Throw that smoke grenade here. It's still missing floater. This is a little bit weird. I don't get it. Where did that floater come from? Was that a float over here? Did he just do a mad dash? Like, do over here? Did he just somehow... I don't know what happened there. That was just weird. Ooh, hello. Okay, you're flanked. What are you doing? Okay, you're standing them open. Okay, you're so dead. You, my friend, are so dead. I... 
How is this move even possible? Okay, let's move down here. Hi. And then we know there's a floater upstairs as well. Got to deal with him somehow. But for now, let's just make sure this thin man is dead. So he's taking cover here, so let's move here. Please die. Thank you. Now this them in upstairs uh float upstairs. What can I do about him? He's like standing right there, isn't he? Um actually pretty difficult to deal with. Do I have flashbangs left? I have one flashbang left. So if we can get eyes on him, we can do stuff to him. So change link, go be a scout. Good, you found him. Um, okay, who else can we get up here? Ham Leona can just barely make it, and that is cover. That is cover. Okay, let's take a shot. Mission accomplished. We got Flo captive. I probably could try capturing this Flo too, but whatever. He's dead, and we got Flo captive. And nobody's even hurt. Um, yeah, let's go home. Missions like that are sure to boost everyone's confidence. Uh -huh. Well done, Commander. Okay, Arbiter, you're useful now. Keep warheads. Wow. Well. Not quite, you still need a Lance Corporal. Once you hit Corporal, you will be truly useful. Actually, no, once you hit Sergeant, you'll be truly useful. Still, I think it's pretty good. Um, let's go back. Finally got a Floater Captive. We won't be able to use it anytime too soon because Floaters are locked behind cy uh, alien cybernetics, which is kind of annoying. Some money. We will be in touch, Commander. And I don't think I can use money for anything too yet. Got one mount of mission, which is pretty good. Nothing to repair, so... Nothing to build. I appreciate your efforts to support the research oh, yeah, that's not true. commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. I need some of these. Where, where is it? Where is it? Mm. Hello, painting. Why do you think dollars too? Let's get two of them. Sure. I mean, yeah, I need alien fragments, but guess what? I seriously need some more engineers too. We're always glad to have more help. I'm sure. You, yes, thank you, Shen. But yeah, like I said, um, we seriously need more engineers. Like scientists, 29; engineers, 18. That's kind of pathetic. Okay, good, 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 good. And now let's go for advanced body armor. 14 days. And we can finally get Carapace after that. Uh, I still need as many engineers as I can possibly get to get the Carapace building. Um, I'm aiming for July Carapace. Um, the question. How many days has it been since I did a Exol mission? Low gate, are you back yet? He's a corporal, isn't he? One more hour. I can't remember. I did a scale on the 4th, didn't I? The 4th, which means an exomination would have happened on something like the 10th. 4th, 10th. Am I right? It's 4th to 10th, which means... I think I still got 3 more days before I want to do exalt scan. Okay, so let's wait for the 17th or the 18th. Maybe the 18th. Content detected. What are you? Detected. Damn, it's a medium. Uh, what's all these mediums I keep getting? It's annoying. Um. Okay, okay. Rat. I have no hope of shooting this thing down. I'm not even going to pretend I have hope. Well, it's a few hits and one hit. Get out. We lost the bubble. Okay, there's one hit. It's nowhere near enough. 
Damn it, this thing's gonna take out my whole fleet. These mediums are ridiculous. We have eyes on the bandit. One. One hit. Two hits. Three hits. Four hits. Okay, he's damaged enough. We're not, okay, let's just ignore him now. It's not worth sending any more interceptors up after I get that um that thing. Not worth it. Wow. Can't believe it. Another medium. It's ridiculous. You're I don't know, Mexico, you're, you're really tempting me here. I need those alloys. But at the same time, the money will really come in handy. With the money, I can build more laser cannons. I can build more la um, some backup laser weapons. I can build... There's so much I can do with money. Hmm. Who can we train up here, by the way? Any medics back? Ooh, Nash Browns. Sweet. Um, okay. I can actually do with that money. Can I build another lab soon, by the way? I can, actually, if I wanted to. Well, that's an interesting development. If I really want to, I can build a lab down here. I don't really care about a genetic lab that much, so... I'll... If I build an access lift, excavate this, I can build another lab soon. Oh, yeah. They can really boost the research a bit. I can build a workshop down here. That's actually not a bad idea. I could really do the money. Um, Mexico? Let's do it. And workshop, how much did that cost? A little bit too much money. Um, another question, how much... When can I build another satellite blink? 20 engineers. Yeah, yeah, I can do it. Workshop, I work on getting a lab. I, especially once I start building carapaces, I'm gonna need all the workshop I can get, so... But I'm not gonna need it this month, am I? Takes like 20 days to build. Okay, that's fine. Let's get ourselves 200 bucks. So you get rid of this. Get rid of two of them. And a scale workshop. Okay. Good, Colonel Morat. Let's see who else we can put inside labs. Um. Spirit Plumber is still out for one more day. I don't think Spirit Plumber has enough experience yet, so that's not happening. Engineers, engineers. Rainbow can be a. Can be ready. Okay, Rainbow, you're in. Japan is a goner, isn't it? Has anyone noticed? What if it that sound? Listen, listen to that sound. Okay, I'm not sure. Okay, I'm not sure if you heard it, but it's like a very faint ethereal sound when the, the alien abduction happens. They be doing the beep. Beep, there was like a very faint in the background. I'm not sure if you heard it. I think, wow, it's kind of freaky actually. Now that, now that I actually think about it. But anyway, a swarming abduction in Japan. Uh, that's pretty scary. Who can I bring on this? I can bring a pretty good team here. Excellent. What kind of map is it? Urban block. Even better. Okay, um, let me set up a squad for this and I'll get back to you. Okay, so this will be what I'll be taking. I was debating on... Well, here's the thing, I'm taking two infantry, including a very low-ranking one, uh, Shrimp Cowboy, uh, because I was debating, I could either take two Rocketeers or two infantry. I don't want to take any assaults, 
um, because I wanted to train someone up and something about assaults like I like assaults and they are very good class but at the same time something about assaults and abductions just doesn't go with me I think it's partially because in a way it should be smart to bring an assault along but I'm kind of just reserving the assaults I'm kind, maybe it's like a habit but anyway um, it's kind of like a habit uh, because back in my previous campaign, while I started getting mechs, I kept uh, taking out the assault to put a mech in. And I don't know, me assaults are good. I love assaults. Don't get me wrong, I love assaults. But I also need people like Shroom Cowboy trained up. And I was debating whether to take a second Rocketeer or a second Infantry. I, I decided to take a second Infantry instead this time. And I don't know, it's kind of like a preference thing, I guess. I can't truly explain it myself, I just think I kind of want it. As for everyone else, I'm taking uh, Zhang without smoke grenades. Why? Because guess what? He has the smoke grenade perk. That's gonna be pretty amazing. Uh, so he can, he's got two extra smoke grenades, and he can even use a smoke grenade and then shoot, use smoke grenade and then flashbang. I don't know. Smoke grenades reload. The point is, he, uh, because he, now that he has a perk, he's much more versatile. And also, he needs two more missions. Like every for one else, this is pretty much an A team. Everyone here is a, almost everyone here is a sergeant, except for Storm Cowboy. So it's kind of like the all one out. He's kind of like the guy being taken on a training mission with all the big boys and he's like yes I get to go on a serious mission for once and then he probably going to get shot out of cover and die or something okay that sounds all morbid I won't say okay shh Shroom Cowboy is fine don't worry about it uh, but anyway um, it's like I said it's a pretty high ranking team um, it's a pretty balanced team other than the fact that I'm not taking an assault and I don't think much to say about it I'm taking two Arcturus special Mantle he has repair so hopefully we can get a few capsules on this mission and because it's a very high ranking team um, hopefully it'll go quite smoothly. Now I did actually go out of the, uh, get, get out of the mission deployment uh, to check something. I was checking to see when if anything will finish building and it looks like um, the latest strike rifle will finish building 16 hours which is kind of unfortunate because you only get 8 hours for abductions. So if this mission happened 8 hours later or you know 9 hours later we could have actually debuted our strike rifle which is a bit of a shame. Anyway I think it's enough of me yabbering on. Let's just get down there and it's well, it's going to hopefully reduce Japan's panic a little bit because they are literally max panic. Ridiculous. Strike one. Prepare for landing. You'll be heading into Japan for the next mission. We've gotten several reports indicating that the aliens have stepped up the number of attempted abductions. We'll have to move quickly if we want to slow the spread of panic. Interesting. I wouldn't actually have called this map an um, urban block. Probably settlement would be more correct, I think. Because it literally only has one building in it. And the rest of it is pretty open with trucks and the gas station in the middle. Still, it's not like a bad map. I don't mind this map. It's not a terrible map by any stretch of imagination. It's just kind of odd to be clumped up together with all the other urban blocks. But regardless, that'll be for next time. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please leave me thoughts or comments down below. And I'll see you next time for Operation Enduring Heart. Until then, see ya.